stick around because today we're taking a look at one of the lightsabers from the Acolyte. This is Master Soul. Let's get at it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John. Well, so many of you have asked me if I was doing a review video on the Acolyte show. I've seen three of the episodes. Uh, episode four just came out a couple of nights ago. I did not watch it. I, I will finish the show, but I'm gonna wait for all the shows to get released. So I think, I believe there's like eight episodes. So I'm waiting for all those shows to come out because I cannot take the 30 minutes here, 35 minutes here, whatever the length of the episodes are now, and then a flashback episode. I don't understand why episode one and two need a prequel episode, and then they said it was supposed to be like a murder mystery show. And then I really checked out in episode three when it turned into an episode of Charmed. The power of one, the power of two. The power of three will set us free. But that's it, that's all my feedback right now. I'm not finishing the show until all of the episodes are out. But as of right now, I'm just, I'm not enjoying the show. I don't like the storytelling of the show. However, one really cool thing that's come out of this show so far, I think, is Master Soul. He's got a fantastic character and I absolutely love the actor. There's something about his character that I really, really dig. He's so well trained, you know, you, you watch that fight scene between him and May, and he's just so focused, which is really cool to see Jedi's really fight. I really do like the fight scenes because I was always a huge fan of Kung Fu movies and Bruce Lee movies and uh, Chuck Norris movies and stuff like that. I went to karate school. I went uh, and took up jujitsu for a while. Absolutely love that stuff. There is just something about how Master Soul is played. He's got so much depth and I do hope that he gets his own show. It would be great to kind of see him in maybe another Tales of the Jedi, a little bit more of his backstory. But anyway, enough about that show. We're gonna dig into this, but before we do, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this lightsaber. Please drop down, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button to help out the channel. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks so much for stopping by again. Let's dig into this unboxing. Now, this Master Soul lightsaber was sent over from my friends over at Art Sabers. I'll put a direct link and discount code for you down below. Let's dig into Master Soul. Now here's the thing, saying that any of these are going to be screen accurate, this is accurate, that's not accurate, it's going to be really hard because none of these coming out are going to be screen accurate. And it's just because Disney made them the size of Galaxy's Edge lightsabers, which is insane. I mean, you see Master Soul just handing his lightsaber over to Osha. And how big is that thing? That thing looks huge. And then there's a shot somewhere of him holding the lightsaber and it's like his hand doesn't even close because the, the pipe is just so thick. And honestly, I do think they're doing that simply because they want to transfer those lightsabers directly into the parks and they're going to be screen accurate lightsabers. These are made more sized like we're used to lightsabers, you know? They're much, much thinner. I mean, look how much my hand can close versus a couple of those images from Master Soul. Here's another shot. I think uh, I've seen him like this. Um, you can see how much my hand is closed around it. So as beautiful as this lightsaber is, and I really do like this design, it's got that kind of a Soka look and feel to it. Um, and I really like these lightsabers. And uh, the first time I saw this, I was like, oh wow, that really does look and kind of feel like a Soka's lightsaber. So let's just take everything else out. We do have an acrylic stand here. This is a Xeno V3, so you have a manual, but it, it is still kind of outdated. Um, a lot of the functions are still the same, but uh, there's so much more in the new Xeno V3. So I really do hope that this thing gets updated. I don't really use the app, so I'll just kind of run you through the few things that I use, and uh, that's about it. And of course, we have a whole bunch of retention screws, a thumb screw, two Allen wrenches, a USB drive, USB-C charging cable, and we got a blade plug. And of course, you get a NeoPixel blade. This is a 36 inch, one inch blade. I might swap this out for one of my own blades, probably like a 32 inch. I also have a 28 inch, so I'll figure that out. But uh, 36 inches are usually a bit too long for this particular room. So let's take our deep dive into Master Soul's lightsaber. So the first thing that you're gonna notice about this lightsaber is that it's very, very shiny. It's uh, kind of got that chrome plating on it. 
and boy is it a fingerprint magnet man i'm not a huge fan of the the chrome look i've ne never been a huge fan of the chrome look i do rather more of that uh brushed kind of aluminum look what's really cool is that they did a really nice heat staining towards the top here i really like that now i don't know if yours will have this issue but uh this fin here only has the heat staining at that top you know 50 percent and if you flip it around, this fin has the whole top half of the fin all the way down to where it turns. Um, so the heat staining is all here versus just the top little piece there. I'd rather them just be unified on both sides, whether it be the full chunk here or that little top half there. But it really feels like uh, this side was done separately than this side when they were all in pieces and no one passed around memos telling them how much to do the heat standing on. But really, I think that's the only thing about this lightsaber that kind of bothers me, which honestly could simply be removed just with a little bit of sanding, uh, which I do think at some point, I will wind up sanding this whole thing down and really kind of uh, dirtying it up a little bit to look a bit more like the show. But overall, honestly, I really like his lightsaber. It's really cool. Now down here, we could take off the pommel cap and on inside, we have your Xeno V3 Gold Core. On the other side here, we have the USB-C charging port, 18650 battery, and our kill switch. And of course, we have LEDs on both sides. Now, it would have been really cool if by design, Master Soul kind of had little windows here and the, uh, the LEDs would have popped through because that would have looked really cool just coming through the center there. I, I really have nothing bad to say about this uh, this design. I really, really like this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go over to page four, pull up the Sabre. Now we're looking for the uh, software. So as of the filming of this video, we are on 1.3. And over here, you can see that we are on 1.2.5. So let's get this updated. Okay, so that's running. So in real time, this update should only take about two or three minutes. Update successful. So what we want to do is now turn your Sabre back on because when it updates, it does kick everything off so you can reboot it. Power on. App connected. All right. App disconnected. Oh. App connected. Just flip it off, flip it back on, and you should be fine. And then let's start turning everything back on. All right, so the next thing I want to do is set my blade size because this is not a 36 inch blade anymore. I'm actually going to use one of my 28 inch blades. So what we want to do is flip this on, go to page two, and I want to adjust my blade length here. And all I'm going to do is grab the top slider. You can see that you can make this literally any size blade. So let's get this blade size correctly. We go all the way up to here. Let's see, we're on one. I can't really see that 104, 105. All right, so let's let's leave that over there. So what does that say? That says uh, 104. So that's good. Save that in. Next thing we're going to go down to countdown that will turn on that extra beep in the menu on the hilt itself. Okay, and that's really about all I do. But you should go through everything here because there are a lot of settings. And then down here, there's a whole bunch of extra blade styles or ignition type things, ghost blades, blaster blades, all that type of stuff that you can turn on and off. I do not use any of those. Uh, motion controls here, you can uh, adjust some sensitivities, um, which is uh, you know always useful. Find some settings that you like. I usually just leave everything. I find it more than fine how everything is set. And on the first page here, we obviously have all the goodies where you have all your auditions, now, if you want to see more of the effect here, um, go into palette, right? And turn this little slider down. What that's going to do is turn the color intensity down, but it's going to leave all the effects there. So let me show you. All right, that's pretty dull. So let's go here and then you can see how much more that the effects stand out. And then over here, we have our color palette. We could drag anywhere on the screen and get a live preview of what you're looking at. 
So there's a lot of power in the app um, if you want to use it. I Again, I don't use the app all that much for anything. On page three down here, you have different custom things that you can upload, custom fonts that you can uh, load, I believe, uh, through like the cloud. If you have uh, some sound fonts sitting on your cloud, you can get in there and upload things from that. Here's all of your sound fonts that are listed here. We have 34 sound fonts. I have not dug into this. I don't know if I'm going to dig into this. This is going to take some time to really figure out. But if there are some good videos out there that you know of, please put those down in the comments and share them with the community. All right, let's swing this thing around, see how it feels. Um, honestly, this feels awesome. Uh, there's nothing getting in your way of your hands. Uh, the button is placed beautifully right near your fingertip. Super easy to wield around. Got all your blaster blocks, block ups, flash on clash, twist on and twist off. Let's flip through a couple of sound fonts. So the quickest way flipping through your fonts is just by flipping upside down and twisting counterclockwise. And there's also a couple of quick ways to flip through the colors on here as well. Hold upside down, hold your power button and give a twist counterclockwise or clockwise. This is counterclockwise. That's gonna do the quick color select. That way it's gonna just kind of hit all the like main colors without fading through. Find something you like and blue. Right, you just hit the power button and you can go clockwise, hold the power, All right, and that is going to put you into more of a twist, kind of like the profi one, just kind of turn it. And when you find the color you want, eh, let's go to red, hit your power and that will select that in. And the menu mode is super easy. Now, when I turned on the countdown in the app, that adds that extra beep. So let's flip through the menu really quick. One beep is gonna be for your volume. There's three volume settings, high, medium, and mute. Volume low, mute. Volume high, mute. Next is your blade styles or your hum effects. Unstable. Rainbow blade. Candy blade. Cracked blade. Fire blade. Then we have three beeps, which is your ignition styles. Broken ignition. Photon ignition. Ignition. Four beeps is fonts. So that's really slow going forward. The best way really is upside down and counterclockwise twist. The dark and the sun. Now that will put you in one direction of fonts. And if you happen to miss something, then use the four count to go back. All right, that is about it with this lightsaber. This is the Master Soul lightsaber from my good friends over at Arc Sabers. I'll put a direct link and discount code for you down below. Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this lightsaber and some of the other lightsabers that you've seen on the show so far. Please down in the comments, leave the hate out. If you like the show, good for you. If you don't like the show, that's fine too. We are here to just really talk about lightsabers because we are a community that loves lightsabers. So while you're down there, hit the like, subscribe, notification button for upcoming videos. I have a ton of lightsabers coming and a bunch of Star Wars six scale figures. So I'll see you all on the next video. Be safe and kind out there in the world. See ya.